You're watching the Westwood News Network. Brought to you by the Westwood Summit Program, Wolverine Pride. Hi everyone, for those who don't know me, I am Mrs. DeGabriel, and today I get the honor of recognizing two special students of the month. For September, our PACE Character Trait of the Month was respect, and I would like to nominate Olivia Henderson. Olivia shows respect to her classmates by helping them always with kindness. She's always um, actively participating, volunteering to help in class, answer questions, and she's showing respect to her teachers and herself by doing that. So congratulations, Olivia, and thank you for always being so respectful. For October, our PACE Character Trait of the Month is Responsibility, and for Responsibility, I would like to nominate Noah Carlisle. Noah shows up to class prepared every day, ready to learn. He works independently on his assignments without needing any reminders to stay on task. So thank you, Noah, for demonstrating what responsibility looks like. Congratulations to both Olivia and Noah. Hello, my wonderful eighth graders. Uh, I'm Mrs. Campbell, for those of you that don't know me. Today, I get to recognize two fabulous students from my classes. Um, I wanted to start with Avery Sykes. I nominated her for the uh, September character trait of respect. Avery truly is a very, very respectful student. Uh, she's also just a very kind and positive person. She always says hello to me in class or in the halls, um, always has a smile on her face. And she's respectful to peers and adults alike. And it's really a pleasure to have Avery in my class. Um, I also wanted to recognize Camilla Ayers. I nominated her for the October Pace Character Trait of Responsibility. Uh, Camilla definitely displays responsibility all the time. She's a very diligent student. She always does her work, turns it in on time. Uh, she also consistently participates in class. She's always willing to give an answer, jumps right into group activities. Um, volunteers to help around the class. She helped us make our um, feeding and cleaning schedule for our pet fish, for example. Um, so Camilla really does embody the um, traits of responsibility. So congratulations, Avery and Camilla. Um, I'm looking forward to nominating more students as the year continues. Have a great day, eighth grade. Hey, Westwood eighth graders, this is Mrs. Howler, and uh, I just want to take the time to recognize two outstanding individuals that I have in class for Students of the Month. Uh, my uh, September Student of the Month for Respect is George Deary. Uh, George is thanks me every day at the end of the class. Um, he gives me a knuckles, and uh, I always look forward to that. It just puts a smile on my face. Uh, he treats his classmates and uh, teachers with the utmost respect. Um, when he's uh, done, he always turns in his assignments if he's ever gone. Uh, he just does things that uh, I just enjoy seeing and his interactions. Uh, he's very conscientious. So uh, I just think he's a great role model for WMS. And uh, thank you, George, for being who you are. Uh, my, sep or my October Students of the Month is Savannah Bourne. Um, that is for responsible. Uh, Savannah is responsible in everything she does. Uh, she comes to class prepared. She's ready to learn. Uh, she always turns her homework in on time. Uh, she isn't afraid to ask questions. She'll email me if she sees something that maybe doesn't look right on Google Classroom and asking for clarification. Uh, she just is a all around responsible young lady and uh, she's just a positive role model. Um, she's a perfect example of what Westwood uh, kids should be like uh, to show responsibility. So thank you, Savannah, for uh, doing what you should be doing and making this a better place for all. Hi, everyone. This is Mr. Ayers. In case you didn't recognize me without the mask, um, I'd like to give a shout out here to all my uh, September and October students of the month for September. I'd like to honor uh, Trey McGuire for respect. Um, I think kindness is a huge part of respect and uh, Trey abounds with kindness. Um, and I think he shows that daily to his peers and his teachers. I know that every day he comes and wishes me a good day uh, in the morning and it's a great part of my morning. 
Um, I've seen them out in the halls, you know, holding doors for people without being asked. Just, you know, these general kindnesses that he does just by being Trey. Uh, so I just wanted to honor him for that. Um, not only does he respect others, but I think he respects himself because he's been working so hard this year um, and putting his best work forward. Um, and I think that's showing a lot of respect for himself. So keep up the great work, Trey. Uh, for my second student of the month for October and uh, responsibility, I've chosen Sam Dalton. Congratulations, Sam. Um, Sam, you come to class every day and you're all in. Um, you participate, you um, try your hardest on your work. Um, you're, if, you, if you need help, you ask questions, you try to get feedback, you respect that feedback, and then you, you implement it, you use it to make your work even better. So um, I think that is a, a great example of responsibility. And, and, you know, like Trey, I think Sam also shows a lot of kindness to everyone. So I just wanted to um, let everyone know um, how much I respect that too. I see him always doing daily kindnesses for the people around him. So uh, congratulations, Trey and Sam. How are you doing, Westwood? This is Mr. McDonald here, wanting to give quick praise to two students for Student of the Month awards and nominations. Um, okay, so for me, for September, I chose Julian Larkham. Uh, Julian, sometimes referred to as King Julian, uh, specifically in my history class, um, shows respect to, to everyone around him. He is kind to his peers. Um, he shows respect to adults around Westwood. Uh, and probably most importantly for me, he shows just respect for the learning process um, and just, yeah, care for uh, wanting to get better and improve. Um, and so, yeah, just that respect he shows to himself and his learning is pretty awesome and influential. Uh, and so that's why he was my nomination for September uh, and for October for responsibility. That's the character trait we focus on here at Westwood for October. Uh, I chose Elena Dahl. Elena uh, is on task. She's focused. Um, she knows what she's supposed to be doing it, and she's doing it. Uh, in my first period English class, um, she's sometimes a pretty steady person in times of some crazy chaos in, in my English class that I have her in. Um, and she is just uh, quite clearly a symbol of responsibility um, by taking her work seriously, by being able to be focused, but also just being able to, um, yeah, engage well in class. So shouts out to both Julian, shouts out to Elena, um, and being my two nominations for September and October. Congratulations to both of you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, y'all. Take care. First one I'd like to talk about who I nominated was for September, respect. And one of the most respectful people I know in our eighth grade core is Mason Stinson. Mason is fantastic, has always been respectful, has always said thank you as he's left the classroom, and has always done things that just really have made the classroom environment really great for everybody, not just the ones around him, but for the whole class environment. And I just appreciate you so much, Mason. I thank you so much for being so respectful, even to your peers. He's always been respectful to those around him, which is really cool. And then October, which is responsibility, of course, is the one and the only Alex Greer. I'm amazed at this student's work because over the years, uh, not only have they come into um, leadership roles, not even as an eighth grader, but as a seventh grader, talking about FBLA, but they've also taken leadership roles in the Pride Club and leadership roles in other things. It seems like any time, Alex, you are in something, leadership just happens to be the thing that you take over and do. So super proud of you, and I definitely see you taking a lot of responsibility on. You were fantastic with your um, color guard performance. It's amazing what you do, and just appreciate you and uh, both Mason and Alex. Awesome. Thanks, guys.